Mm. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helene today, along with... First mate, Drek here, at your service. And welcome back to Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which, uh, <laughs> well, I was planning to do a bit of more rest day today, but uh, Drek here just really wanted more of this game, so here we are. <laughs> But the reason I asked this one was for I for some reason thought we, that was the plan. <laughs> no. Oh <laughs> uh, well, we're, we've already started, so it'd be a bit it'd be a dick move to stop now. So uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, why? Give me a second. Let's hide the game because it's not responding to the. Oh wait, I see why it's not responding. The game wasn't selected there. <laughs> Uh, I, was, I was just tinkering with, these up, with the stuff on the site, with the task manager, chat program, and OBS stats. So I didn't have it selected. <laughs> so no need to hide. Uh, uh, I do need to start oh. this up again. The limiter, because... Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, can... I saw incessantly how quickly she swung the hair. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, last time we got started with the game, and we are... We're back on Scuttle Town, I think. Yep, yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay, what were we doing over this way, then? Uh, uh let me check the map. Hmm. Yeah, I know we went here to get upgrades. So, considering how much less coin we have, I suspect we... Got We've already bought upgrades. some. Uh, oh no. It, am I saying this right? 69. Never mind. No longer 69. <laughs> uh, Thank goodness. Let's also, see. We, we... Have a, we have a special guest here today. Mm -hmm. A tube of Ringles. <laughs> I don't think that call. Uh, what? I'm I'm drawing a complete blank all of a sudden on the name of that uh, the character from that franchise. It's not the Colonel because that's with KFC. Oh, he looks I, like I have him. I don't know what they call him, but I... the Pringles man or something? Mr. Pringles? Hmm. Uh, I'm unsure. I'm... It's rare they mention his name. Okay. And I recall now what we were doing. We. We got back here, we were pulled over to the palace, where Shantae has basically been let go from, well, getting shaven. And we met, uh, <laughs> we had to, uh, <laughs> we met He-Man over there. Though, I think we also still need to find, yeah, we need, I think we need to find, go find that road travel bus show that was dropped here. Because we need something to oil... Yeah, that, that's what was going on. We were we got to the zombie island, uh, where we ran into the Roddy Tops and her brothers again. Uh, but Ho, one of the brothers, needs oil to repair the uh, the yeah their va the yeah, their wagon. Why am I tripping over my words up uh, so much? Then again, when am uh, I not tripping over my words? True. Uh, and yeah, he said something about squid oil. Yeah. And I was well, really to hear you as well. <laughs> yeah, we know that the Squid Baron is looking... Well, he can probably get some oil or give us some. Uh, but he wants, a, he wants to take a vacation, so he'd need a travel brochure. So, yeah, we're looking for that in the sewers here. Uh, here we are. Because we know that the guy above, with the fancy hat, dropped one of these. And here we have it. Uh, what was in the chest? Did he really drop it? Maybe. At the very least. What? You found my vacation brochure? The one all about traveling? Don't worry, it's as good as new. Somehow it landed in a chest. No backseats. Ah, one down. I'm a master salesman. The boss said I'd never get rid of these lousy brochures. But he's never witnessed my drain conviction <laughs> sales technique. <laughs> By what? Yeah. Uh, were we tricked? Basically. <laughs> Either way... Uh, <laughs> solid snap, is that a travel brochure? Can I take it? <laughs> uh, sure. That is one oh, way to try dear. and sail them, but... Uh, not really sailing them either. 
Wowie zowie. Look at all these snapshots. Sand and surf. Free spirited and responsible sporty uh, co-ed girls frolicking on the beach. A sweaty tennis player drinking from a perspiring glass of water with a slice of lemon. Old men with full heads of wispy pepper gray hair. Matching pants suits with a proud navy blue sailor stripe. Shirts unbuttoned to the third button. <laughs> Why the hell are you freaking out about? I must find this utopia and purchase a timeshare post haste. <laughs> How can I ever thank you? <laughs> okay, he looks a bit adorable like this. Yeah, that, I mean, that, is that a new animation or picture of yeah. him? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, I know. Squid oil. Um. What's this? It's squid oil. I expelled it fresh this morning from my ink siphon. <laughs> well, she said it herself. Yeah. <laughs> what Whatevs. Later, loser. Then he just scuttles off. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Yeah, you, you can probably what guess, the but the Squid Baron is quite a favorite among the fans. He is. Yeah, <laughs> because he's such a big idiot. Yeah, but a lovable one, and... He's not a pearl, at least, as well. Yeah. All right. Well, now that we also, have that, we can go back to Poe and get this wagon repaired. Uh, by the way, have you no noticed something in the sewers mm -hmm. that is probably Inuendo made manifest? Should I even guess? Uh, it's those one-eyed snake things. <laughs> yeah, good point, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've seen them before and all just now got them in that. Oh, really? Did they, did they really? Is is that supposed to be the you? Or just coincidence? No, in these guys, guys, not coincidence. Yeah. The, the, actually, yeah, I, I, I don't think I want to know what, what kind of in the window scarecrow will be if there is one. Uh, I can't think of any. There probably are yeah, in like, some language. Yeah, like, I know you can call someone a scarecrow if they are Yeah wearing a lot of torn clothes or something. I forgot the definition when you call someone a scarecrow, what it means. But it's not in the window at least. That much mm -hmm. I know. Uh, to how what both of us know at least, and it seems that they have exactly 10 HP, like one, two, three. Just a little note. Uh, some monster milk, not that we need it. Uh, I don't think we'll have enough for another upgrade, but we might be able to buy something else. Do you have any pumpkins? pumpkins? Hmm? Yeah, they were still throwing pumpkins, yes. And we were in the background. pumpkins in the field. Yeah, that as well. I, I believe they are called the Pumpkin Fields. <laughs> oh, but that also that. Welcome to Scuttletown, friends. Nothing new from them. I think it changes per di per bleh, dungeon that we do. And that's no need to go to the save guy. Now, we have 100 gems. What can we buy with that? Uh, we have some pirate flare, so we have no need for that. We can't buy any upgrades, we can't buy a pistol upgrade, but I don't think that we'll, we really need it. So let's just keep saving up for some moves, for some big upgrades. Uh, we don't have enough... I don't think we have enough, no, we have only one at the moment. So we can't get an upgrade, we have no need Wait, to go what? heal. What? Hmm? You said you had five. Uh, I, we, I think that believes it means more that we've collected five total. Yeah. Oh wait. Okay, so we did have more than. Okay, I, I was wrong then. <laughs> well. Good, good of you to mention that, then. I, I thought it was more of the, yeah, you have collected this much in total. 
Uh, let's see, what does it say now, if you want to look? No, let's see. Oh no. What is it, Uncle? My workshop has been ransacked. Who would do such a thing? Doggone it, there goes my experiment. Why the hell were you even experimenting with the Tinkerbell to begin with? Anyways. Now that we have the oil, we can head go back to Spiderweb Island and go ha hand it over to Poe. It's still some... <laughs> some absolutely bopping music in this place, huh? Yeah! It... it it's probably one of those that's a bit eager for Shanti. It's, it's good music. It's in a way fun and relaxing. <laughs> the, the, the track here is basically a. Yeah, it, it basically is like combat music, but just not, since, well, you're constantly under attack here. Um. Actually, <laughs> excellent. Ever since we split off from the zombie curve, then we've been in short supply. I'm gonna have this big snow jiffy. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. You're pretty amazing, Poe. Thank you, milady. What do you say we take her for a test drive? Yeah, it could get a little dangerous, just saying. You're sure Roddy won't mind? It's no problem, just remember to hold on tight. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Wow, she handles beautifully. I couldn't have done it without you, lady. Here. Strivel uh, thing. Um... <laughs> I know what that is. A shrunken head. Oh, sweet. I'll cherish it always, but... What exactly is it? Alright, don't you like it? No, no, it's great. It's from a dead guy. I'll be around in case you ever need a ride. See you. And now he just acts as a fast travel back and forth, I presume. Okay, I, I, I hope expected him to bring us into a mini game. <laughs> I was expecting that as well. Hello, Abner. You found Poe? Uh, You're alright, girl. Uh, hmm? Oh dear. If the wagon's fixed, you can use it, I guess. There's no peeking inside. What have you stashed in there, Roddy? But that face of things it meant no peeking on her, her in a teaseful manner. <laughs> yeah, because Roddy is all about teasing. Uh, let's yeah. see them. No, so you only had one remaining. Yep. So I was right. All the moldy leftovers? Hungry, feed a shriveled thing. <laughs> Stick your hand through. What? And this is how <laughs> this is how Shante gets herself a hook. More. Bring more delicious and more delicious thing inside. And that's how the door opens. To the second den of evil. Tackle tower, okay. Uh, nope. Did you not just walk away from the hook? Uh, okay, maybe it was just decoration or something. Yeah, they're in the foreground more, it looks like. Do you mind, I still need to find my 3DS and get this uh, on the eShop of it. Because I am curious about uh, how the 3D looks in this. Pardon? Hmm. Nope. Someone needs to check the masonry in this place. <laughs> and it's these guys again. Luckily, we don't have to crush their graves this time. They just explode on their own, and these little boneheads, I guess. I have no idea what those are supposed to be. It do question and they have big spot. 
No, don't be chupacabras, can it? Yeah, chup yeah, chup chup chupacabras are more like goat things, I believe. Uh, no. Okay. Goats is the prey. Okay, hello. This looks like something from Uncle's workshop. It doesn't appear to have power. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta go find a bunch of batteries. And it's those things again. There we go. Okay, I, I remember the items that we'll be getting throughout this game, but I forget which and uh, when we get which, though. And yeah, they will mostly be... <laughs> okay, we can't go that way. They will be mostly Risky's equipment. Oh dear, I'm very good now. Let's see then. Yeah, the, it, these skeletons are a lot more hand manageable now that they don't immediately charge us. <laughs> and and I'm guessing a lot of people really, really complained about these things. Yeah, probably I needed nerve. Oh, hello. New enemy. And oh, yeah, this is basically a vampire knight. And yeah, that's her thing. She turns into a bat, flies upwards, and <laughs> smacks you in the back of the head with a... Don't... With that. Don't you mean like a vampire ho extreme hardcore dominatrix? <laughs> then they'd be using my whip. Well, it, it, that's the key. I said extreme. <laughs> she replaced the whip with a flail. Uh, let's see. Yep, we can use that key here. No need to shoot the lock. <laughs> what the heck are you? Oh. <laughs> They're Donkey Kong barrels. Uh, let's see, is there a way to get up there? No. Shanta is going to need a boss after this. Hopefully not at Saliva Island, though. Yeah, uh, now I know what, what the hooks are so worth for. The booty priest will do when you just broke. Okay, just mind our head with... It's easy to tell which of the tiles are going to fall because they're darker colors. That is a good telltale sign when you need to be careful. Yeah. Can I know you some games make it impossible to differentiate between the one that's about to break and not? And you often have that in animation as well, like a certain section is darker colored. Uh, so you can uh, you can easily guess that that's going to move sooner or later. Yeah, either dog colored or looks like like it has more cracks in it and such. Yeah. And here we go with these things again. Shante is not happy to be in those. <laughs> it, it feels like a reference to old cartoons when I was about try to not get eaten. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Luckily, don't, they don't damage us if we stay in too long, though. Uh, is, is there anything down here? Or is, actually, yeah, that would just drop us down. Pardon? And, okay, there's two more rooms down to the sides at the bottom there. But I get the feeling we might need an item to get there. Because I think that thing... I'll just call them the barrel things. Uh, I think they were out. it was out of reach for Shantae to actually reach. Hello, Pringles. <laughs> I mean, it's been a year or two since I ate Pringles. I don't think I've ever eaten them. Mostly because it's... Uh, you know that sometimes... Uh... When something gets so much attention that you just get sick of hearing about it that you just never give it a shot. 
I have oh, that I with have... Pringles and other stuff. I haven't had that issue with Pringles, Do I did stop the battle for them, was about too good, as in... If I open one, and I have a few laying around... Even if I ate just one tube, the freeze is, it would be a struggle to not open another. So, yeah, I decided to stop buying them just because of that. A little bit of... Yeah, as I said, a bit too good that you can't stop eating it. Uh, not in that case, but I, I just hear so much about something that I, I just get to the conclusion that it has to be overhyped or something with how much it's getting to... Yeah, people just try to shove it down your throat. Yeah, that, then, then, then I you just will avoid not in, things. You wouldn't know you sweet if we... We will save it like a food, but we're not gonna overhype it. There is a me the only time I've seen people try to overhype food are McDonald's fanatics, and that's it. Yep, well, I beat them that one. Uh, but yeah, for example, Game of Thrones was hyped to all hell and constantly praised uh, to high heaven and such, and uh, yeah, then the last season, so <laughs> yeah. I guess I was yeah. right in just avoiding it until it was done. I, I, I watched it and enjoyed it. I, the, but this also is not as bad for me if I was especially probably mentally prepared. And I don't judge this too much. But there were moments at the, the final episode, uh, something of that they could have done that better. Or just playing out, did they really have to make a... Uh, American thing about it in the end. And we got Risky's hat. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, there was a scene I felt that a bit annoyed that I'll go the other way. No, no, are they gonna try to make America in Westeros with electing a president? I felt like I just cringed at that part. But yeah, I, I just generally try to wait things out until they're done before I give them a shot. Maybe uh, there's probably been some exceptions, but I can't really think of any at the moment. Uh, for me, it was not over. I, when I came to Game of Thrones, I didn't know Game of Game of Thrones until one of my brothers was watching me on the PC one day. Then I gave mm -hmm. some water for Lorella's uh, like this. But I did not know there was a hype around it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just I just dislike hype in gen or I just re dislike hype in general somewhat. Of course, there will uh, good shows will get uh, uh, hype as as well. But when it's just something just gets so much that people, I guess it's yeah, it seems like that everyone talks mm. about it. Non-stop. Yeah. yeah, that gets a bit annoying. And yeah, I told it's... many friends that I, I will probably watch it when I want it. Just don't write it for me, please. So I get what you mean. Yeah. It, 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 of course, it isn't that all things, all the times that get hyped are bad. It's just, it gives me a so... I, it really annoys me when people just try to... Uh, it comes across as a sales pitch at a certain point, more... Is that's, I think that's the way I can best describe how I feel about that. Yeah, when the control comes up, feel like a sale pitch, it's kind of annoying. And I, and when people ask me, tell me about Game of Thrones, such, I'll be talking about the positives and all that, but I try my best to not sound like a sale pitch. Yeah. Heart squids. So that means there's probably a... Can we... No, not in there. We can probably fall in. Also, yeah, we can't hurt those. Hmm. Really? Really? He could throw the boon point blank at you, and instead he threw it up on top on the uh, higher floor? Really? Well, they don't have much brains left since, well, their skulls are empty. And I can't see... 
I was going to say I can't see where we need to get in here, and then I immediately find it by accident. Uh, <laughs> there's been something with me and, uh, and timing this week, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I had that uh, yes, yesterday night as well. I, uh, I was, uh, I was, I wouldn't call it a co-host or anything, but I was playing Guild War. I was helping uh, someone from Gate. Uh, well, they're, they're also on Gate, but they're also on a different server that I'm, I'm on. Uh, Zeri and uh, Zeri, me and two others were doing fractals in Guild Wars 2. Oh, and yeah. there was one with a jumping puzzle where you could get knocked off. And the moment they finished saying that you could might get knocked off, guess what happened? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they got knocked off. Oh, rascals. Uh, sometimes stuff like that just aligns magically, huh? Yeah. So when it happens too often, it kind of like it's creepy. And yeah, as is obvious, we can use Whiskey's oversized hat as a parachute. <laughs> it looks adorable. You just look at her. And with that, I think we can also just get across here. Yep. Yep. Oh dear. Oh, I probably should say this. This probably will be one of the few rare ways we actually stream six times a week uh, in one week. That's probably a record. Yeah. It's not going to happen too often. Uh, oh, um. But uh, yeah, when we if we have time and we have feel like doing it, we can and uh, do more than four streams in a week at times, or more than three is going to no three to four is trying to go is going to be the basic uh, the base that we'll be trying for. But if the mood hits us, we can try for more. Yeah, especially if you had the periods we had to. Uh, Cancel a lot. Yeah, so this is basically catching up on lost time before. Yeah, but next week we, we next week we're gonna try to yeah get back in the right in the cycle. In the normal schedule. You call it. Thank you. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> I I, had, I don't know why I have a problem pronouncing it. schedule. Schedule. <laughs> It got worse. What? What? It has got the worse. Sketch <laughs> you. <laughs> Just say according to uh, to plan. According to plan, thank you. <laughs> uh, when I talk to normally to you, or to other servers, he is. I can't say just fine, but on stream for some reason I can't. Uh, performance anxiety made me. <laughs> I don't know. M maybe it was a. Pre uh, uh, Eating Pringles. That uh, could also be a case here, yeah? <laughs> or a cause. <laughs> no, I'm not speaking when I'm mouthful, though. So probably not. I, I, I try to avoid speaking with my uh, food in my mouth. So sometimes when I'm quite long time, it might be too. I, I have something in my mouth. And I just can't say anything. Okay, so nothing down here except for enemies in case you fall down, it seems. Oop. Yes, we oh. have gone this way. That's actually where we got the hat, I believe. Okay. I was just making sure there we need one more power source, and I... It should be in the room above us, I think. We're around here somewhere. I know I saw something that looked like the same things that we've been hitting. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Do I have a name ID for the parrot next to you? <laughs> okay. Holy Rogers. <laughs> Probably not uh, the most original name. 
<laughs> but it works. Yeah, it, it is. It is a pun within a pun. But it, it's not just regular Polly. But definitely part of Jolly Rogers. I should probably give him a stick or something to sit on eventually as well. But. Why haven't I noticed that until you said it? <laughs> because your look is more towards the center of the screen. Your focus. Nope. I thought... Oh, that's not a stick he's on. I don't know what it is. Wait, that's his foot. Yeah. The, the way his foot is on the corner of a map made me think he had a stick. It, it's not on the corner, it's on the border of the map. Yeah, I've been oh, yeah. tricked. <laughs> uh, let's see, there's that hard squid there that we still need to get as well. If we can, that is. Hmm. Let's see, oh, how can we good. get there? Yeah, I can recommend you Pringles, just... Again, careful with them. But I can, some of the values can be... As I said, too good that you can't keep your hands away from them. <laughs> uh, is there a way we, we can crawl through or something? We can over here for some goodies. Was it in the next room or something? Ah, there it is. But how do we get there? Uh, actually, actually, isn't that behind... That's behind the locked key. That's behind the locked door here. So we need to find a key somewhere. And we have looked everywhere below. So there must be something up here that we've missed. Check over this way. I don't think we'll get much anywhere if we go down with those things. But there might just be something hidden. Yep. Oh. Speaking of hidden, a <laughs> hard squid. Okay, yeah, if we go down with that thing, it'll just spit us back there. Or with the things up here, I mean. Uh, well, at least we know where our heart squid is that we can get on the way out. Or if we fall down here again. Bad we knew a few at least. Let's see then. Oop, there we go. And that's as far as this tunnel. No, not tunnel. This cavern will take us. <laughs> not the right word either. Let's see. Must be some... Wait. Actually. Okay, so we can pass yeah. through there. Yep, the, the cracks yeah. in the wall should have given that away earlier. Yeah, I was to say, come and move the hammer. And there's the key that we need. Okay. Now, let's go get that hard squid then, and then we go unlock the door. And after this, we have at least the money for one or two upgrades. Here we go. Now, if we jump into this one, where will it spit us? Up, oh, okay. So that, that's actually also a quicker way to get up there. Nice. Not that we need to anymore because we're back here. Just need to go below. Uh, one more. There we go. And that should activate whatever the hell that device downstairs is. Yep, yeah, it is. And 
Shantae nice. T-posing for dominance on the way down. <laughs> okay, the lights are on, it's ready to activate. Okay. And, okay, that creates an updraft. And since this Wait, map stupid thing is so poofy, it act <laughs> sends us straight up. Is on air conditioner? <laughs> Not a uh, I don't think the word air conditioner is correct, but uh, a wind turbine would be better, I believe. Or an air turbine. More of these. Bigfoot? Was that one taunting? It indeed taunted you. But yeah, the trick is to get underneath them or behind them. Not that we're having much luck with that. Ow. Yeah, they are pretty tough. I oh. <laughs> and there goes our auto uh, potion that we got at the beginning of the game. <laughs> yep. Um, hello. Okay, I had a bit of a Space Invaders moment there, <laughs> expecting all of them to come down at once. Yeah, I guess those were the babies or pets or little sisters. Uh, come on, a bit higher. Hmm, do we have momentum with this? Yes, we do. Okay. Another key. And another door nice. to open. <laughs> this place is just coming apart at the seams, huh? Yeah, I really someone forgot to do maintenance here. Okay. Uh, back at Scuttle Time, we should probably buy a few auto potions. Alongside with the upgrades. Okay, simple stuff. Just avoid the spikes. Risky's probably going to get pretty annoyed with Shantae about having her hat. <laughs> Oh, I got. Looking to shoot in. There we go. <laughs> now, without I the mouth of Pringles, please, yes. Yeah, I hope she wears the hat to tease uh, Risky Boots. But she always done it with a bandana and. Uh, Hello eyes. again. <laughs> Empress Spider, chit chat, Queen. <laughs> chit chat, Queen Royale. Hello, did you highness? Hello, <laughs> uh, Let's actually start using some of these now. Okay, she is damn quick. Or, wait, is she attacking that in a pattern or is she trying to hit us? Sure. Okay, this spider spits fire. Also, probably a good idea to use one of these. See, if we use another pike ball. Okay, we can't use another pike ball. But we can't. Okay, we can upgrade it to the other, but we can't use two at the same time. Holy. Oh, I saw that a second too late. 
Okay, the pike bars are really doing really good at just keeping her at bay. Still getting some hits in though. So, not wrong button. There we go. Correct you! Come on, switch the spider, okay? There we go, that's how we avoid that. Uh, you know what we need? A big ass newspaper. I want to use a very, very big boot. But the newspaper may work too. Uh, wait, I just remember. Ever since I live in a village, I have converted an old magazine is on toilet paper into a permanent uh, weapon against flies. And, and I still have another shell. Another den uh, cleared well out. Done. Well done, well done. Uh, the... bats. Again. And uh, yeah, you, you can see that their their hands and feet are are clawed and they have spikes along their back. Yeah. Uh, Razor spikes of some kind? Hey! Get back here, you. Hmm. And another map. Another place to go. Tan Line Island map. Oh, I remember what? Tan Line Island. It. It's one less source of evil for the Pirate Master. I'd better go tell Ritzky. And with that, we... we can leave this island. Bobby! Going to a um, beach at a resort. Uh, now there's a lot of sand. I can ensure that. Well, what's called Tan Line Island? You, you know what a Tan Line is, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's another cackle bat gone, and more dark magic collected. Uh, let's check if their dialogue has changed, perhaps. No difference. Okay. So we just hit your ride with Poe again to get out of here. Let me double check the map. I believe that the, the squares are points of interest. In this case, it's, well, the, <clears throat> the, the, the pier. The start of the uh, of the area, the, the third one was the dungeon, and the last one is the zombies' house. Oh dear! I actually would have liked a bit of animation here for them running, yeah, for that thing charging through. Yeah, that would like to be awesome, but I can't stand if they had to skip it. So, no wonder. Do we meet Squid Baron there? In Tan Island? Uh, maybe. I don't actually remember where we find him again, if at all. You're back. Not without incident, but I found another island map. And your hat. I thought you'd be I thought you'd be excited. I've been thinking about my men. And the curse that controls them. We all sailed together under the Pirate Master's command. The Pirate Master is clever. They expect me to go after my pistol and hats. That's why he brought them here, to infuse them with his evil. He's been using the weapons to lure me in. He plans to trigger the curse and put me back under his control. I can't believe I almost fell for such an obvious ruse. Wait. Is, it... is that why you won't come with me? Because you're under the same curse as your men? I'm not afraid of him. I didn't say you were. I despise him. I'd like to see him return just so I can crush him myself. I didn't mean to get you all worked up. But hey, at least we're finally talking, right? It's good to get these things off your chest. I'll wait for you on board. Oh. And there's Tanline Island. Let's check. There's st still so you... two more cackle bats. So, 
So she may. Uh, hmm. Maybe she is somewhat related to the Tinkerbats? Like, they both were minions of him. Uh, I, I get the feeling if she'd come into contact with dark magic, then she might undergo a, a transformation as well. Or I think she, I think she thinks she might. Hmm. Squeeze and crush, squeeze and crush. Okay. Remember the chef who used to live around here? She left the traveler abroad. And here she's become quite famous. Look at, she's talking about the little chef in the, in the woods. Oh. Oh, you meet her. My dad has a telescope for looking across the ocean. When I use it, I can barely make out an island with waterfalls and a stone mummy. These eyes don't lie. Is he talking about Saliva Island? Uh, yeah, I, I hope I expected him to talk about g the girls there. <laughs> <laughs> Shante, did you come for a long and boring speech about adventuring? Uh, uh, not really. There are four kinds of heroes in this world. Those who complete their qu quests with minimum effort. Those who are slow yet thorough, collecting every single treasure. Those who work quickly, measuring their success only in speed. Speedrunners. <laughs> and finally, those heroes who collect everything and still do it at top speeds. Every hero will receive a reward equal to his or her own effort. Which one am I, uncle? That's up to you. Uh, he's talking about the different rewards you can get at the end of a game, depending on how... Well, it's a metroidvania, so of course you're being count, uh, you're being measured on your time and how much of the stuff you find. <clears throat> oh dear. The, Why would the Emma lost? Baron want to build a base here? A town offers little value to an outsider. But there was a... Um... I'm sorry, I don't get here. Was it the two last points they brought up? Basically, speedrunners? Yeah. Uh, oh, and dear. You know, people who go through just. Uh, yeah. Hmm. yeah. People who just rush through I, in the order. I, I think he meant people who just rush through without really in, enjoying a game. Those who go for 100%. Uh, speedrunners and then 100% speedrunners, I think, is what he meant. Okay. <laughs> the soul just dug up his favorite palm tree. Stay strong, sailor. Aww. A crave tender monkey. Quite a long face, it's no different from any other wi widely acceptable <laughs> edible beast. Moo. Club club. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, I think like gluttony is going too far. I I would I say I would eat a cat and dog if there was no other sh uh, choice to eat. I don't want to eat I, something else. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would. Let's see. My older brother used to work at the palace. His job was patching all the holes in the floor, but instead he just hung tapestries over them. What a slacker! A tap. That works with holes in the walls, not on the floor. Some, someone probably fell through at one point or another. And oh, well, then his job fell through. Yep. And it oh, does oh, literally. Uh, if the cat or dog was my own pet, I would not eat them. Yeah. For, yeah, eating your own pet, I, I can see that be a struggle. I, if I were to eat a cat or dog, that would probably be strays to... Uh, Actually, that, even there, I would probably hesitate. Then there's all the issues I have to worry about. Yeah, because they could have uh, parasites or such, or diseases. Yeah. And again, I would even need to eat out of desperation. Someone just passed through here with a mummy sarcophagus on his back. He was looking for your bird friend's house. Okay, this guy has visitors. Okay. Your uncle and Sky's father are both relic hunters. They seek treasures from the old world. 
I am curious what else we could learn about the old world in uh, future Shantae games. I don't think there has been any new ones announced. There's some kind of hop-up going in on in here. When did there some DLC announced some time ago? Uh, what the? Uh, I know that's uh, the next game, Half Genie Hero, had some DLC, but there was mostly uh, jokish and stuff, except for one. Um, I'm not sure if Seven Sirens got any DLC though, but I'll have to double check that. For now. Shante, look who decided to make a surprise visit. Sky's mom, how are you? I'm Cloud9. When I heard that my sweet little <laughs> bedwetting baby Bunsy's found herself a handsome young man, I just had to come and meet him. Ooh, look at his fun hat. What? Uh, oh! <laughs> Pleasure, ma'am. You got quite a gal here. It's Barracuda oh. Joe. Hey, Chris, I'm just yo, I got worried he was the Baron. <laughs> uh, he has one eye too many for that. You and yeah, Joe? Yeah, Mr. Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I caught him removing one of my bird's nests and we got to talking. Over coffee, and... Well, I guess we hit it off. She about broke my arm being, <laughs> being causing of the birds I was done touched. I done touched. <laughs> <laughs> Soon there will be the sound of wedding sounds of wedding bells and piles of <laughs> grandbabies. <laughs> Face of <Mom>. birds. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sky? Show over, kids. Heavy load incoming. Sky's dead. And well, there is the guy with the sarcophagus. Ouch, there goes the back. Hope I hold out long enough to see those uh, these two lovebirds tied the knot before I croak. Oh, daddy. This the guy? Sir? What you do for a living, Joe? I tears down schools and once converts them to long-range cannons. That'll work. My daughter could do a lot worse. <laughs> daddy. I see she smells like the barn I was raised in. Uh... <laughs> Hold up now, look at your daughter. I swear you were just in diapers and pig deal. was yesterday. Way of the marshmallow spread, girl. <laughs> You've gone plump as a partridge. Uh, what? Honey, don't embarrass our little girl. She's just puffing up to attract a mate. <laughs> That's something that birds do, not, <laughs> not humans. Oh, I think it's working. <laughs> bah. Have a look at this now. Brought you guys a genuine artifact from the lost world. You can use it to spruce up the place. Give it some culture. I can decorate on my own, thanks. What do you think of it, Joe? It went out of the cutscene there for a moment. I'll have to... I'll have to get real close to read it. It got some message written on it. It says here, death to them what reads it. Hmm, I feel a bit unnatural. Daddy, what did you do? Jiminy, who thinks something this old could still pack such a wall up? Chantel, look, <laughs> looks like your old Uncle Mimic was right again. It was says, evil curses stay fresh with age. Man's the better relic hunter any day of the week. Can we please not discuss your work right now? You just got your... You just got your daughter's fiancé killed. Or boyfriend, Wait. possibly. Um... Um... Uh, read that line, you can see what I'm, what I'm getting concerned by. Yeah. You always do this, daddy. You want me to be single forever. There, there, don't fuss. The friend here will fix it. I will? Oh dear, another boyfriend down the drain. Well, I'll be darned. He done this before? Apparently. 
Now what am I supposed to do with this? Well, he could make a good perch for range over up there. I, I hope we can save him for... Yo, Yo does it see... I don't know what it says. Yo doesn't seem to be like the other soldiers, really. Uh, he's not an asshole, at the least. But he does really toll, but... So it tells me if he gets a chance to lead them, he probably would. If he gets a, a better option. Now, the reason I saved that is because I get the feeling if you interact with this, we might get turned to stone as well. Mummy? There's an inscription. Hmm. It's probably a cursor, I better not read it, considering the luck I've been having lately. Hmm. Uh, also, where's that petrify uh, spell? Doesn't have that... Uh, part of me saying this look like a... baboon? I'll have to double check in a second. For now, let's see if Mimic might know a way to fix this. Uh, no, he doesn't. He's just going to speech again. Hmm. Let's see. I think we've chatted with everyone in town here. So let's go take a look at the palace. And he's not he's just not going to change his dialogue at all. Yes, I think Benson, I think was his name. I think he changes up his dialogue every now and then again as well. We just have to, well, fight our way through the, the pumpkin fields first. So we can also get that heart squid that's up here somewhere, now that we have Risky's hands. Hopefully it would mean we have probably already enough to upgrade our hearts again. Uh, let's see, we have three at the moment, so yeah, that, that'll make a fourth. Yeah, just on sure you will need one extra each time you upgrade, but did you need three the first yeah. time? Yeah, we we kept one after. Ah, uh -huh, okay. So four at each. Yep. And now we have another heart. I, I don't wanna... Uh, does that... Artsmith uh, be a recurring character? I think she does show up in at least the next game. I would not be surprised if there's a little fan out of her. <laughs> probably. Or is she probably the tallest and... ...curviest of them all in this game so far I've seen? Oh, here's an area. Oh, and that's another tackle bat. So, at the same time, she also looks like she could... Break my bones easily without <laughs> yeah, the probably. hammer. And that's another dark magic. I might have to look up a list at one point for where all of them are hidden. Since we are going for the golden ending where we have all 20 of them. Oh, hello. Ah, the elusive uh, tree squid. Uh, and of note on that, uh, if I know that a game has an extra ending when you get a certain amount or everything of something, um, I'm not going to always go for them, because in some cases it might just be an extreme hassle to. Yeah. I, I'm the same, like, if I get to know it's very easy to do, I will do it. So it's kind of rare to find them so easy that you can so easily even accidentally finish it. But I think I've actually got the secret ending by accident just to how easy it was to do. <laughs> okay. I just forgot um, which game it was. I'm mostly going through here. Benson didn't change his dialogue, so I guess we just have to find his sword for him first. Uh, meanwhile, you... Whipping one eyed snake. You know what? I will try to avoid commenting anything he refers to, Devon. Hello, rat. Let's see, 
there's something above here. I'm really just checking now if that square means that there is still something there or not. Or if it's something we've already discovered. Yeah. I'm not so be odd with the snakes. They're not slithering. And, okay, that's just at the, up here. Uh, might as well try out a, one of these then. Uh-oh. They really made a little adorable pixelation animation for her. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll have to go to Tanline Island then. Because I don't see how we can progress here. It's, there's still two more cackle bats and one more... Actually, I, we're forgetting something. Because we have more... We have enough now. We can get yet another heart. Yes. I just don't realize how much bigger than Shantichi is. <laughs> Go, full heal. And now we have five hearts instead of the two that we started with. Go. There's still one more cackle bat hidden somewhere here. Two here. And, well, we're just going to start it here. According to the map, this is Townline Island. It's hot. Don't let the immense heat distract you. There's a den of evil here. Find it and destroy it without delay. I'll go and have a look soon. This will leave everything to me. And if you feel curious, slide back and put a damn towel over your forehead. <laughs> Where does he get the energy to be so disgustingly happy all the time? I'm ready! <laughs> What the heck was that? Yep. Yep. Nomads? Oh, what the heck were they? These soldiers of a sort. And yeah, these are just little walking cactus things. So. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah, you, I guess you could say that they're young cousins. The Choyar are an enemy in Guild Wars 2 in the Alona region, which are, well, yeah. walking cactuses. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You did the service tab. They are walking, living cactus cannibals. <laughs> and here we have the archers kidding. again. Apparently they gave Elonians recipes how to make drink on themselves. Oh, we've ever met the little soya. This is how you make it, another soya to do a drink. Enjoy! Kinda disturbing, ain't it? Yeah. Then and again, nice. the, uh, the Selma nips from Splatoon, or Splatoon 2, are the same way, actually. <laughs> oh dear. She and hits nice. hard. Um. Helia, take a look. What do you see? <laughs> a scorpion tower. Yeah, very big scorpion lady. And your big lady ain't as big as some of the one in the fall you were. Mummy? Even bigger. Yeah. There's an exception. Don't read. Here we go again. Oop. Uh, yeah, we're just going to fall through that. We need something else there. And I that guess we found to... where Sky's dad got that thing from. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Scorpion people are part of a ancient religion, and they grew to be big as a few kilometers. So let me see here's a miniature one. Okay, these things explode with quite a bit of force. <laughs> okay. Oh. How did Sky's dad manage to carry this all the way back to Scuttletown? 
stubbornness. Yeah, and probably <laughs> a burning desire to kill another boy's friend. <laughs> Pardon again? I, I hope... I hope Joe is okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh. Hey, Squid Baron. What are you doing here of all places? My vacation. It's ruined. Oh, right. I came here expecting to relax in the surf. I feel the ocean breeze on my face and march with faint interest as nearby beach bunnies apply copious handfuls of sunscreen to each other's body in order to be practical and sun safe. Uh, from UV rays. Or from you. Okay. But I didn't know this is the off season. The only sights at this time of year are the elder beings and scorpion folk. I give up. I'll be perching a live house nearby with amazing square footage and gravel landscaping at this rate. I won't let you do that. Buck up. There's still something amazing out there waiting for you. Something cliche like a lonely lady squid. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I'm going to, if I'm not going to stick around, then here, take these x-ray specs. I won't be needing them apparently. Use them to see through things if it pleases you. If, if it please you. There's an S missing there, I think. <laughs> Please you. Uh, oh. No, you, you, you maybe... please you. But no, you just pleases you. No, or if it may please you. Anyway, there was a bit missing there. And uh, what did you say again about him not being a pervert? Well, he, he did pervert in his usual way, at least. Stop interrupting me. Chief wants these old ruins removed. This is going to take forever. Yeah, my men forever and a day at this rate. Our ancestors on Saliva Island never had it so rough. Okay. Wait, what? Hmm. It's X-ray specs. I, I... Uh... Oh dear. I, I was like, I'm kind of glad that nowadays. It's forbidden to disturb ruins. Yeah. No, in the, in the bus, it was like also more. forbidden to disturb ruins, just... Some folks... Yeah, were very ign ignorant of that, uh, like the Christianity. Yeah, that is too. Uh, we all know the story about Troy, but there actually were multiple Troys, at least from what the, the dig sites there say. The problem is, when they first discovered them, uh, they kind of dug their ways through the different layers with dynamite. So, uh, oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, and, and Troy was more of a nation than just one city. Yeah. Give me a sec. Hmm, okay. With these glasses I can see right through the stone. Something's carved here. It's a design of some sort. Hmm. I'll make a quick sketch, just so I don't forget. Looks... Uh, looks very torn. Let's see, a sketch that captures one third of a mysterious design. Okay. Third, so we're looking for two more sarcophagi then. I think the yeah, third is in Scotland Island already, so we probably yeah. just need to find one more. And yeah, we can just. It's not too far away, so we can just go there ourselves. <laughs> Get hit by the last little guy. Again, it's a little guy that gets me. <laughs> oh, what skip you? Okay, back to Skull Island. And we'll probably have to visit Slime Island again to complete this.
Let's see then. It's a design of some sort. Quick sketch. And that's another. Yeah, another third. Let's not shoot our friends. <laughs> Yeah, then I guess we'll have to go look at Saliva Island. Oh dear. And maybe we can find that lost uh, cackle bat here. <laughs> Still there's really good music in all of these places. Yeah. It's also not gonna dance to it a little bit. And you said that I stopped dancing. Damn it. Uh, let's or actually check them. Over the youth says not, whatever you say. Have I really hit that stage in my life when I said the youth? <laughs> I'm feeling old. I've been called old since I turned 18. And yeah, the the, the hat also gives us a, a little upwards boost, so we can use that to extend or to just get on top of. Uh, platforms that would be a little out of our reach otherwise. No. There is still on the left here stuff that we ha weren't able to go to before. We can now. It's probably going to be a cackle bat at the end of this. What? Screwed up. <laughs> Crab. <laughs> okay. How, how does it feel to get whacked on the head <laughs> like that? Well, at least Chante has a lot of hair to push in it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, I just... Uh, okay, so I forgot to say earlier that I'm about curious about the Squid Baron. Yes. Who's the mother to all the kids? Good question. And let's actually test that. Or let's try to test that recover move at some point here. Yep, there we. Okay. So we can just we can just turn the ball into a backflip. And uh, I've been noticing that out of outside of the dungeons we. Barely seem to be getting any hearts. And then again, in the dungeons is where we find most of the, uh, yeah, <laughs> the pots to break. Okay, now what is hidden around here? Oh, oh, hello, hello. I wasn't intending to find you. Well. I was, we were looking for this, but I was actually expecting a cackle bat. Yeah, I, I expected this one to be on the other island. And again, we did see this thing before because we were in that little gap in the sides. Oh, yeah. Hey, now that, now that I sketched all three mummy carvings, I should be able to figure out the design. Oh, each shape represents an animal, and they're arranged in a very specific pattern. Which means the combination to that temple door is... Bird, fish, birds. Okay. It's probably randomized, so people can't uh, try to just break through it. Okay. Hold on a second here. Is this... No, I, I was expecting that to be a crawl space there. You hope for shortcuts. Yeah. Okay, uh, is there anywhere else? Yeah, there's still a bit up there that we can find out. And we'll just have to discover how to get there, though. Hmm. Well, now, you, you, you should stop that little thing with that little spite. Yep, yep, that guy, 
I recovered too late there. Okay, let's just take this slow then. Third time the charm and all that. So much for third time. Okay, slow. Also, why the hell is this a death area if it's above an area we've been before? Perhaps too high. Let's see, I believe over here is the entrance to the dungeon. And I'm not sure if there are cackle bats in the... Oh no, it's not. Uh, hello, girls. There we go. Okay, they have nothing new to say. And we should probably leave them in bliss. <laughs> well, bliss for ignorance, at least. I kind of wonder how they will react when they find out what it is. Yeah, they'll probably head straight for the sea and dive in. At least we now know why the island is called, well, what it is called. It's a live island, yeah, we we could have guessed that the first time we arrived here. I, 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 I would expect at first that, oh, maybe it's a statue that pour water from it and they hopefully call it a live island, but no, no. That would be a bit naive to me if it, it was literally saliva <laughs> for a living being. Okay, we can just rush through here for a bit. Thank you. Up. Okay, those those actually hurt quite a bit. It ain't meat bone at all. There we go. Uh, we should be able to get a speed upgrade for next time. Because uh, this, the attack speed upgrade should be 150. And yeah, we'll, we're probably getting more than enough gems for that by the time we get back. <laughs> okay, the combination was fish, bird, fish, right? Yes. Otherwise, we can just check the sketch, probably. Let's see. Frog, fish, fish, birds. What, shouldn't that be it? Or was it bird, fish, bird? Yeah, pro probably that, then, yeah. Yeah, I got to skip you off the horse. Wait, wait, uh, uh, probably, wait. Was it the other way around? <laughs> There we go. Yeah, it was all the way around. It's all for tricking you accidentally. Yeah, I got it wrong first. Tanline Temple. Princess, it's you. Princess, it's you. Who oh, might a princess? Okay. Oh, my stars and garters. Princess, is it really you? Talking to me, right? It is you. You returned to us after ages beyond passing. <laughs> Everyone listen. A princess has returned to us after all this time. R uh, I think you've got the wrong gal. She doesn't remember. And yet she is the spinning evidence of she who has long since passed. Now she has returned to rule over us all with her infinite wisdom. Princess, please take your proper place on the throne at once. But... but Royal vessels, adorn her highness in ceremonial garb. See that she does not wander uh, while I repair the coronation. Oh, boogers. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, hello? I'm dressed like a space princess. Can we talk this over now? 
<laughs> yeah, it's a very... It's a very Princess Leia captured by Jabba the Hutt outfit. Yeah, and it does not look comfortable. I think it's a bit too nice. much metal. <laughs> yeah. Anyone? Great, they took my items away too. These guys think I'm their princess back from the dead, they'll never let me leave. There must be some way of escaping. I'd better start looking. Can we... We can still attack, though. <laughs> nope. Okay, that was accidental. And yeah, just the door is locked, and there's a cackle bat there. So, yeah, now we're going to have a, a bit of a... <laughs> Prince of Persia section, in that we have to stealth around. This is sort of, uh, like, her outfit is nice, but I will... I, I will confess, it does look a bit cold to wear. Yeah, like, luckily it, it is it, a hot place. What the hell is that? Uh, that's what happens yeah. if you get seen. Uh, actually, yeah, when you think about it, they're not actually be worse for... Metal gets hot. Yeah. So she would probably want some padding on it, and I, I seriously hope there's padding on it. Otherwise, that's that's gonna be torture. Okay. Don't ask me why they have guards in the walls, but okay. Uh, yeah, we, we just have to so keep avoiding their line of sight. As I say, and immediately go into their line of sight. <laughs> what the heck is that? It just get pixelated for me every time she does that, so I don't really see what she's doing. I want to see how her legs move. Uh, she, she, was do she was doing that tiptoeing while she was carrying uh, Rotty Tops. Uh, yeah, this might get annoying depending on how far we can get without uh, checkpoints. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, so she, she, she's holding her hands up to her face. Yeah, like, oh crap. Ooh. So they will they will go on alert even if they only see part of Shantae. Oh dear. And, oh yeah, before we forget, while we were talking about hot metals, if you ever see some uh, Middle Eastern warriors and crusaders having clothing over the armor, that's just to protect their own hands and such. And the armor from uh, being indirect, uh, indirect it's like sunlight. Yeah, so it doesn't get or, scorching. Yeah, as well that if you were to take off your gloves and do something, you will not accidentally hit the mail and burn yourself. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to jump over this guy. Uh, actually, how? Hmm. Or, no. Hmm. How We're... are we supposed to get... Uh, can we jump over him? Probably. The, qu the question is if we can get past the other one. Hold on. Or we just go for the wall. Oh, just gems. Hmm. Okay, that how are we going effect. to pull that off? We can jump over the first one, but the second one is going to be tricky. Or... I, I don't think we can actually attack them. Speaking of attack, they, their, their armor looks somewhat like the... Like the Sultan... Like the Royal Guards' armor. Only with uh, different they headdress. Do. Than maybe different boots? And I think we managed to get in behind a pillar there. Okay. I don't know who these people are. Okay. 
For some reason, Shan it looked like Shantae was darkened out for a bit after landing. So I guess we'll have to hide behind some pillars as well, but the question is how can we know which pillars are in the foreground and which not? Yeah, and again, what is the sofa here? Uh, I guess this is their rest area. <laughs> uh, maybe? In which case, yeah, I, if, if, if that were the case, I'd ask for a raise. <laughs> A race? That's what the most luxurious damn so we will probably get. Uh, oh! Okay, so... Okay, that could have been shown a bit earlier, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, see, we're hiding in the alcoves in the back. Yeah, I see that. This, this, that probably would have been a lot more noticeable with 3D effects on. But oh well. One more to go. Nope, he's looking. The other one is going to be looking in the me. No. Okay, we, we can fall in from higher. So, we land already hidden. Okay. There we go. Now... Oops. That is a guard, but one we can actually beat. There we go. Uh, any crawl spaces? No. Nope, more of them. So let's check out down here first. I'll take that. I wonder who, who are these people? And where is this leading? Okay. Not guards. Uh, let's check the other room first. Oh, hello again. And also, I noticed something about that priest we met earlier. Yeah. Did you notice his, his staff? Uh, I actually didn't see what's... It was the one eye snakes. Mokova variant of it, but still just one big eye. Why is that chain there? Oop. Almost been we spotted herring? there. Yeah, be careful now. Uh. There's a lot of snake imagery around. <laughs> yeah, though most of them are wearing wolf gear so i guess snakes and desert wolves are important to them guess so yeah oh. and e even shanti have a crown with a snake on it except here only in cutscenes they had it yeah i guess that was a little detail that they couldn't animate in or oh, forgot Nothing what is it there? there? Nothing there. Did it stand still? Uh, it's at least not showing. Yeah, not e easily at least. Oh, key, always nice. And Hello. <laughs> Someone trying an important <laughs> dynamic entry. What is Hello, down two here? Okay, the... I was expecting guards there to be down there or something. Uh... Oh no, she does the wiggles when she crouch. It's probably worse in this outfit. One heart squid, which should mean that we have two at the moment. Oh, hello. 
Ooh, dinner. Oh, wait. Uh, what? Wait, hold on. Roddy and Rusty? What is going on? Princess, it's you. Okay, so they're not going to do anything. What is going on? Can we take on this cackle bat? Yes, we can. Okay, easy kill. Though we, act, we don't have the lamb, so we can't actually absorb that. Uh, let's go in here first, then. They caught you too? What are you doing here? I flew here to find a cure for Joe. What's your excuse? Holy... I'm here with the... Uh... Fine, don't tell me. <laughs> Let's just find a way out of this madhouse. And put some clothes out from crying out loud. How am I supposed to walk in these shoes? Uh, what a small on her or... Yeah, they may have looked smaller because the uh, sky is probably bigger in some ways. Yeah. And she did not look comfy. The, the drops looks very comfortable in them. But again, she's a bit... Yeah. Okay, we can't pull that. We, we can't talk with uh, Sky at the moment. Uh, oh, so yeah, we're going oh, to oh, have oh. to find more keys. I wonder what is going on. Are they being tricked into a beauty contest or something? I actually forget exactly what uh, the reason is, but I'm going to guess that the, the head... Whoa, the head priest might have absolute shit uh, eyesight. And he's not going to look away, so we are going to head our own way. Yeah, or it's some kind of tourist thing. Okay, the Cackle Bat stays defeated. Uh, can we... Yes, we should be able to just... There we go. Now we can just get out and not have to sneak around the whole time. Okay. I think I recall this place being somewhat annoying. Or at least without a map found first. Because you have to go around quite a bit. Yeah. I'm hoping there's a key around here. I I think I I can worry for road tops. Uh how so? Like, I don't know, it's something about it, that outfit and Rodotop's condition. I'm not sure if it may be a good idea to give her metal clothing. You're, you're afraid it's going to burn her skin off? Moreover, the weight may make it fall off with limbs. Now, I don't think it's that heavy. <laughs> Otherwise, Shantae would have complained that's... about that. Uh, true. Uh, but I guess that means it ain't made of bronze. So if it was made of gold, it still would be damn heavy. Okay. Um, have we gone this way? I think that leads to a main chamber. Like, did this one lead to that little... No? Why is this chain here? I think I see why. It, it's it, like a backup idea if they come uh, past you like that. Maybe. Uh, 
there wasn't any other way to go here. But there is a room next to this that we can't access at the moment, or we can't get to. Let's do another save. Quick check on the clock. Hmm. Okay, luckily enough, their vision is just straight a straightforward line. It is a 2D environment, so... Yeah. yeah it, it isn't a cone like you might expect in some games. We definitely have plenty of coins now, gems. Hello. Okay, that... That was a bit useless and... Okay, that's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of squares. Okay. Hello, What's the pillows. point of this room, then? Hmm. Okay, we can crawl through here for more money. good amount, but we still have higher priorities than that, though. I kind of wonder, how common are these yams if you use them as currency? Uh, pretty common. I kind of wonder if that's uh, a currency that could work. Hmm... Gemstones very too much in clarity and uh, size to really be useful for that, I think. And Okay, so nothing here. Yeah, the, look at the pillar. Yeah, it was looking at the one where the heart squid was. Ah, oh, alright. Uh, should I inform uh, Bean about this? And she looks so happy. <laughs> Did she change pose? Or was she... Uh, uh, anyways. Maybe? I left you back on... But I left you back on Spiderweb Island. I didn't want to miss out on, on the fun, so I followed you. How did you follow them? Did you just swim after them? Look, we both have matching costumes. She looks so happy. Now we can be princesses together. Roddy, we've got to get out of here, fast. Okay, I'll go, but I'm keeping this outfit. All right, uh, it, it did fit her better expedition. She looks so happy. Sophie, her smile is infectious. Yeah. This is surprising mm. considering that she is a Zombie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, her zombification isn't infectious, but her smile is. Yep. And I guess she's taking good care of her body. Well, mostly, considering since she had to stitch a arm and a leg. Or... But not stitch! This looks like she had a... Staple? Uh, can you repeat that? Staples. That's uh, her, stable. they're, they're stapled okay. together. Yeah, that's where I think you. I thought first I misheard you. <laughs> I thought you you said something else. I thought, wait, no, that can't make sense. <laughs> no, zombies and stables don't go together unless you're talking about the uh, Red Dead Redemption DLC. On that nightmare. It's the one where Red Dead Redemption goes zombie apocalypse. Oh, right, I forgot about that. And I, not had, I, I think I, that was the first thing I saw of Red Dead Redemption. I thought, oh, it's a zombie cowboy game? All right. Mm. And since then, I thought that was the point of the game killing zombies as a cowboy. Uh, no, that's only of that DLC. Yeah. Okay, we already got Did this I see one. some clip from it? Like, someone got shot 
fell off a train onto a bridge, then they fell off a bridge, hit the few poles, and they land in a very shallow, muddy water alive. Oh, they were killed by a crop that was there nearby. Yeah, so. <laughs> Rockstar physics. I don't want to say Rockstar physics, more of. One heck of a series of bad luck. Like, sure, you survive all the way down painfully just to get eaten. Now, so the reason I'm jumping back here is so. Yeah, I can check this. Uh, where did I leave? Here's the notebook. So let me just grab that. Yellow has been cleared. Okay. And then there's... Is that supposed to be like a red? I'll take it as red. I will need... Pink. Blue. Black. Uh, purple. Orange, green, light blue, and light green. There are still two corners of this area that we haven't explored, so let's see if we can get to those. But yeah, each of those uh, squares corresponds to one of the doors in the to one of the doors around here, I presume, or at least that seems to be the case. And this just goes back to the main area, I believe. Yes, it does. Okay. It seems like I really we have like this been music. to most. It is, it is nice music, but then again, we, we've praised all of the tracks so far, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let's see, how can we get to that room? This is light green, which goes back to the stealth. Okay. Check that off then. Oh, I just realized something. Uh, mm -hmm. Sky's photo said she had to uh, up a bit. Yeah. And it, uh, when I saw an old model of what well, she did, uh, that, that popped up, but see, I'll just say the prison of it. <laughs> Yeah, she got some curves. Hmm. Okay, this area has also been covered, so this is the third time. No, I will say this, this to see how the out of it. She doesn't need to lose weight. She doesn't look overweight or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so he just be a will protect the father. Uh, and. Potentially a mass murderer <laughs> if, he's, if he's been killing off Sky's boyfriends. Yeah, I'm actually concerned if that's. If he has killed many of her boyfriends, why still keep contact? Like, they. they, they, they I, I, I get accident, but. Uh, if it had, if it is common enough, is it really accident anymore? Yeah, it, it, that certainly wasn't an accident there. <laughs> Which is the straight hit and, hit and run. Hmm. Let's see. This is over here again. Red and. Is that the pink or the purple? That's pink. And here was the... Yeah, here was the heart squid. So, pink can be scratched off. As can red up there. It doesn't look too red, more like a darker orange, but still. Hmm. I think you should take the heart. Uh, we have enough healing items at the moment. Yes. Wait, hold up. What? Why does she have a cold ring in her room? Decoration. Hmm. 
Have we been to the blue one? Actually, can we go... Can we go this way with the guards? If we get thrown back, we have unlocked the door now, and it should stay open. Nope. Just sent back to the room. Okay, so that is a dead end at the moment. There's still this I, I door don't, here. Don't, I don't hope uh, the owners got freed. Still, we nope. don't need to save them again. Now, the sky was near that giant rope, and if I remember correctly, we need to free all of the captives to uh, yeah, unlock that. That's us light green. There's more. Yeah, there's one more door. The light green we'd already scraped off. Is the fourth one who I think it is? I'm not going to reveal anything. I have a feeling Bolo will be storming and get this castle. Let's see, orange. We've been this way a few times already as well, so we can scratch that off. I should probably put that thing here so I don't have to twist that much. Uh, have we gone? I don't think we've gone to the blue door yet, so let's actually go see if we can reach that. Because we have been running circles for like five minutes now, we're ten. Yeah, uh, by the way, if food for thought. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, what would you say if there were an anime in the works for this? Uh, I'd, I'd be interested. Same. It, it, it has the potential for being a good anime in the right hands, of course. There's already been a bit of anime of this game, but that most with that it's mostly been that the the intro of Seven Sirens, uh, the fifth game, uh, that was animated by well, an anime comet, um, um, the renowned anime company. I'm actually drawing a blank on their name at the moment. Yep, uh, the animation looks familiar. Uh, not Ghibli, not I don't think Ghibli. For the animation that looks so familiar. Like this guy, yeah, familiar. Okay. And this guy, you have an anime. With how long that's been going, it's not a surprise. Okay, seriously, how do we get to that blue area? Wait, let me take a look at the map. Yeah, that's a good question. I think we're missing something here. This is going to lead us to the purple door again. Uh, wait, we walk behind uh, uh, us? Okay, okay. Maybe there it's not something thing. over here, but none of these blocks are breaking. And now we're here again. Wait, climb up. I think I maybe see what the heck is going on. Is something hidden behind the, that cloth? I very much doubt that. No, it's just for a foreground dressing. Yeah, I say this. Let's let's look up. Oh, we have we have like ten minutes remaining. I, no, this is the blue door. But I think we have gone here before. Uh, yes, yeah, because this uh, is this leads down here. Okay, scratch that one off. And black already as well. Uh, pink, then there's green and light blue. Hmm. Let's see. Green and light blue are that way. 
but there's a wall in the way. And we are getting a lot of gems from this, though. Hmm. Yep. So we hopefully be able to pull some upgrades. Now we could buy the 400 one, but we can probably just get some attack and attack speed upgrades as well. Okay, red again. That leads us here. And this is... That was the pink door. Hmm. We're in this area yet again. What? Where is this bloody you? last key? Wait, is there something in her room we're missing? I don't think there's anything in the rooms that we can grab. And it's a, it's not a, it's, it's not, no, it's a cauldron, but it's a flower pot. It's, that's what they're being used for. Hmm. And yeah, he is where they are. Wait, uh, maybe brought to have a tip. Uh, I, I tried to talk to them right there, but they <laughs> just don't say oh. anything. Oh, damn it. Uh, th this would be easier if there were dividers in this part of the map to show where we can't and can't go. Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, we need to break something by the sound of it. And it's just more hidden gems. Or, wait, wait, look at the map. And that was the corner that we hadn't explored yet, but there's no door. But that may mean there's might be other places we have not broken. And light green. Yeah, we've already been through light green a few times now. But wait, have we had that key for? How long have we had that key? On the wait. Or... Wait, was that key? Inside of a stone tunnel, or did you forget you had I very much doubt that. I, I, I just missed that we'd already gotten the damn thing. Well. Oh dear. Is, is that you? Who else would it be? Oh I dear. For, <laughs> I came looking for you, and instead I found this place. The simpletons mistook me for, <laughs> for some city princess and locked me in here. Same here. Pound those imbeciles into fish paste when I get my hands on them. We're wasting time. Let's go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Risky does have a bit of a Cleopatra look with that walk, though. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, so yeah, that was me just wasting time because I was stupid. There you are. We should be able to upgrade this contraption if the four of us work together. We're not heavy enough. Although Blondie here does make for some excellent ballast. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you probably weigh as much as a lit as a lead balloon. Or two. And at least can we at least try to work together? I won't work with her, but for you, sure. Me? <laughs> Aren't you the brain either? What? Not you, her. Yeah, the noise. This is why I work alone. All right, you lovers. Pull. Yes, ma'am. Not sure how that would work when their full weight is already on the thing. It worked. Of course it did. You give up to her easily. If you want to make something and bend to your will, you better be prepared to break it as well. You're a scary lady. Come on, let's rush in and pummel those imbecile, uh, these imbeciles. No, we should sneak past them quietly. I want to distract them with the fan dance. <laughs> I'll take a look. Princess, you've arrived at last. Behold, a glittering statue of your vast magnificence. That's supposed to be me? 
Ah, but yes, it is your exact likeness. Uh, someone needs glasses. Very, very, very thick glasses. Yeah, about to get ready to be destroyed. But Lou, do my eyes deceive me? Princess, there are four of you? Yeah, get your bloody eyes checked. But... But she, she looks perfectly identical to this humongous... Titanic. <laughs> Rotund. Corpulent. <laughs> okay, Roddy seems very happy to be called that. And bulgingly beautiful, pleasingly plump statue. That's it. Bring his throat. What's this? Princess! There you are. Where in the world have you been? It's been over... It's been over 30 minutes. Seriously? Were you at the store all that time? You silly Billy. This... I can't. People hear me. Our princess has returned at long last. From the store. Thank you all. Truly you have saved our people. Sorry about the mix-up. Believe me, this happens all the time. Because you've refused to get glasses. I'll sure return your garments. And give you this golden pickaxe in honor of your great deeds. And leave us out of your adventures from now on. This is the fun part where I get an item. <laughs> what the heck? And yeah. <laughs> Risky just heads off to go strangle something. Oh dear. And okay. I don't think that's for here. Oh, what's this? Oh, it is for here. A golden pickaxe from the pen princess. Can I have it, pretty please? Such incredible craftsmanship. We'll have this cleared away lickety split. Oh, with those ruins out of the way, I can see all the way to the horizon. And look at these chubby green birds. Uh, birds? Ah, those aren't birds. Monsters, run! <laughs> uh. oh, I'm looking at you. Okay, it is probably just the best to j jump over them because they only seem to be vulnerable whilst they're charging their attack up. Hey, there's a proof of Stulica break there. Yeah, but we can't attack downwards, though. Oh. Uh, deadly quicksand. Uh, of course, it wouldn't be a desert without... Oh, hello. Stupid rats. Gee. Are we telling you said that? Uh, what's he going to do about it? Nibble my ankles? <laughs> it, it can be really annoying with guarding enemies, especially if their guard is up most of the time. And we can't reach them. Oh. Oh. We don't need to reach it because we can just jump up in the sand. First, though... Okay. That does make things a bit easier. And hello. Okay, a spitting one. Okay, we're going to have to recover from those hits or just be a lot more careful. Actually... Are those the sky squids? Well, they look like it. <laughs> yeah, we can just shoot the damn rats. And... Oh, 
And this is it costing magic ink on you. Here we go. And we are at the two hour mark, but let's go look for a save point first. Oop, lost catacombs. Uh, this must be the Den of Evil, then. And two items? Uh, uh, watch out for that one! Yeah. <laughs> spiky or not spiky. That's... Uh... Oh dear. Yeah, we'll have to see how far we can we get into this before we find a save guy. Hmm. Oh dear. Oop, another review. And a key, okay. Hmm. Yeah, we can still keep going for a bit, but if we go too long, I'm just going to use the... Uh, I'm just going to use a private flare so we can get safe. That's Cuddletown. Yeah, Let's this see. probably be also a good place as... Uh, yeah, there we start the stream by upgrading stuff. Okay, we can't reach that hard squid, but I do think I remember what item we're going to get here. So, if this takes uh, some 10 minutes more until we can find the safe guy, uh, we'll head back to Scuttletown. What the heck? That's Rats? The zombie version Is of the you? things we found before. How we get the towel? Okay, we need a key to get access to that switch. Yeah, we need to be careful with those scorpions because even just walking into them causes three damage. Ah, there he is. You were saying? Okay. There we go. Then we can go to the main menu. And, the pirate's curse. and yeah, we got 20% more completion in this stream. And uh, let's go look for someone to raid. Oh dear. Forty-two percent. All right, I guess we have like three more streams of this. Uh, that might be going for complete completion, like one hundred percent. But we should still have quite a bit of uh, to go. Uh, let's see. Anyone that we know online? Casco uh, Zook. Uh, can't remember who that might be. Uh, Brandon the Chihuahua is online, streaming Stardew Valley. Uh, Kazkuzo is streaming Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I think they've been doing that for the uh, for quite a while. Uh, let's see, recommended channels. We have Old Dragon, who is streaming Dungeons & Dragons. Is that game Dungeons & Dragons or... Uh, no, it's just it's the tabletop game. They're on World 20. And we have Jackal Pawdad, who is streaming Neo 2. We have Bree, as in B-R-E-E-H, who is streaming Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate De Demon Hunters. I think that is a recent game. Yep. It's Warhammer XCOM, really. Okay, I, I'd heard of that. I, I might actually look at that at some point. And those were the smaller streamers. We also have... Let's see, that's not that. Uh, Slytherin TV streaming Starship Troopers. Oh, that, that's the recent Starship Troopers game. Um, and yeah, quite a 
few some other streams still or channels still but those are quite a bit bigger <laughs> like a, a few hundreds uh, viewers each at the moment so any of those sound interesting or shall we go raid brandon and who was brandon again uh, they're a friend of a friend or rather the boyfriend of a friend of ours and hello trucker hello? you're catching us just as we're finishing up the stream Oh, have you been lurking all this time? Could also be. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's raid Tracker. <laughs> I don't think that'll really work. Uh, but okay. Dang it. Uh, okay, we can, we can, we can raid uh, the Chihuahua. Yeah, Brandon the Chihuahua. Seems he is on a break at the moment. Uh, but that oh. just means that we can sneak in and raid. <laughs> I just pillage the place. Now, you were sleeping all the time. Oops. Okay. Uh, glad to see. Glad to know I'm. Uh, I work as ASMR then. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Raid ready to start. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Plans. Plans. Tomorrow we are. I. I need to go install and test the games for tomorrow still. They, there won't be any big ones like Anthem was this time. Um, so yeah, at least it won't take up 60 freaking gigabytes on my hard drive while I test it out. Uh, yeah. 60 After... gig? Yep. <laughs> oh, Almost 55 miles last night. Yeah, you get around a lot with that job, huh? <laughs> like... Literally. He's a trucker. What the heck do you expect? Uh, yeah. Showcase Sunday tomorrow. I'll have to install and test most of the games for that still. Um, then in the coming week, when possible, we'll be stream. We'll be starting out with the uh, <clears throat> with the. Well, that's not. I wouldn't call it a filler game before we get to Rayman Three. But we'll be we will be starting with MDK2. Which, you still don't know what MDK stands for. Uh, supposedly, originally, at first, it stood for Murder, Death, Kill, or something. But since there's three characters in that game called Max, Doc, and Kurt, some say it's for that. But it's if it is for the first, it's not that it's not that graphic or adult of a game. But yeah, we'll be getting started on that, and once we're finished with that, we will move on to Rayman 3. But for now, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you for looking around, Big Trucker. And uh, thank you as always, Drakir. Oh, you was welcome as always, my friend. And let's get that raid started. So yeah, I've already said what the plans are. Uh, when we will be able to stream after tomorrow, I'm not too sure. We'll have to see about that. Uh, but until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls. Uh, yep, wrong.